In this video, we are going to do a heat transfer problem that's going to help us better understand the application of Fourier's law. So let's start. So we have a freezer compartment that has a cubical cavity which is 2 meter on a side and it says that as long as the bottom is to be perfectly insulated and if that's the case then what would be the minimum thickness of styrofoam insulation that is required to the top and side walls to ensure a heat load of less than 500 watts when the inner and outer surfaces are at minus 10 and 35 degrees celsius and the question also gives us the thermal conductivity of styrofoam to be 0 0.030 watt per meter kelvin so let's mark some important information here the freezer compartment is a cubical cavity and the problem also says that each side of this uh, cube is essentially 2 meters it also says that assume that the bottom to be perfectly insulated so this is important information so the question asks for a minimum thickness right so we know if you change the thickness the amount of heat transfer changes so that's why it says that find the thickness such that the total heat load does not exceed 500 watts and it also says that the heat load happens when the temperature of the inner and outer surfaces are minus 10 and 35 degrees celsius and we are also given the thermal properties of the styrofoam the conductivity to uh, solve the problem so now we are going to solve it so let's draw a sketch of the problem so essentially we have a nice cubical cavity we know the inner surface temperature is minus 10 the outer surface temperature is 35 degrees celsius we also know the sides of this cube which is uh, 2 meter so this means we can easily find out the surface areas uh, of these uh, cubes but the important information that says the bottom is perfectly insulated right and this is why uh, we can actually say there is no heat transfer from this bottom side so we are going to uh, mark that this side is essentially thermally insulated the question actually asks for what is the thickness of this cavity so if thickness is l then we have to find this thickness so now let's write the information we know we know the surface areas 2 times 2 equals 4 meter square. So now we have the surface area. We also know the thermal conductivity, which is given to be 0 0.030 watt per meter Kelvin. We also know the temperature difference, delta T, and we know the higher temperature is 35, and the lower temperature is minus 10 so you know heat flows from higher temperature to lower temperature so we write 35 minus minus 10 that comes out to be 45 degree celsius or we can actually write it to 45 kelvin because it's a temperature difference so we can write it in either degree celsius or in kelvins so the unknown in this question is l or the thickness so now let's make some assumption and use Fourier's law to solve this problem so the first assumption is that the bottom surface is insulated which is actually given in the problem but it also makes sense because in real life we know that the bottom surface of the freezer is essentially close to the floor and there is obviously much less heat transfer uh, to the floor compared to the other five surfaces so in this problem we also realize that since this surface is insulated essentially all the heat transfer that is going on is going on from this surface this surface the back surface this uh, side surface over here so that makes four surface and the front surface that we can look from here so because there are five surfaces that bear the total heat load of 500 uh, watts 
that's why we need to find out what would be the heat load for a single surface or for a single wall of this whole freezer compartment so we can write the question actually gives us the q total is 500 watts so that means that the q that is coming through a single surface so for example only for this particular surface whatever q that is coming in that q is q total over 5 because 100 watts so that's why this first assumption is very important because it now gives us the value of heat transfer through one of the walls of this cavity and now we can actually use Fourier's law but we also have to make a few more assumptions for Fourier's law to be applicable heat transfer has to be one dimensional so we also make that assumption and we also know for Fourier's law to be applicable this whole problem has to be a steady state problem which means we can only solve this problem when the condition is steady that means the temperatures of the surfaces are not changing with respect to time and unless we make this assumption we cannot use the basic form of Fourier's law so we have to make another assumption that says that thermal properties are constant so by this we actually mean that the thermal conductivity k is actually constant because we know from physics or from real world that the thermal conductivity changes with respect to temperature it also changes depending on the composition of the material so if you have a difference in composition of styrofoam at different location of this whole freezer so for example if you have more styrofoam in some location and less styrofoam in some location that would mean that the thermal conductivity would be different at different locations so in that case our solution will not be correct or it would not be a good it would not give us a good estimate even so that's why we have to make a assumption that the thermal properties are constant or by for this case essentially it says that the thermal conductivity is constant so now we can apply Fourier's law which says small q equals k times a times delta t over l and we need to figure out l so we write l equals k a times delta t over q and now we are going to put in all the values for each of these parameters so we put 0 0.030 for the thermal conductivity 4 for the surface area 45 for the temperature difference and 100 for the amount of heat that is transferred by a single wall so if you have difficulty understanding the problem i am going to put out a picture here just to simplify and represent all these numbers in the form of a plain wall problem because essentially now i have reduced this whole problem to a simple plain wall since all the units are in SI, so area is in meter squared, the temperature difference is in Kelvin, the thermal conductivity is also in watts over meter times Kelvin, all of which are SI, and the transfer is in watts. We know that the L that is going to come out of this equation is going to be in SI units, and we are going to calculate it. So a calculator and we are going to find L is 0 0.054 meters or L is 54 millimeters and that is the answer to our question. So what does this mean that L is 54 millimeters? So it means that if you use a thickness to construct this freezer compartment where L is greater than 54 that would mean the amount of heat load that the compartment can take in that case would be less than 500 watts because from Fourier's law we know the heat transfer increases if you decrease your thickness and because of this inverse relationship we know that if we reduce our thickness heat transfer must increase so if you use the insulation thickness of say 50 millimeters that would make more than 500 watts come into this freezer compartment and that's why uh, the question actually says that what's the minimum thickness that is required to the top and side walls to ensure 
a heat load of less than 500 watts and actually in this figure I draw a bottom thickness but essentially this whole bottom side is uh, insulated so ideally I should not have drawn it but even if, it, if you have drawn it we know that there is no heat transfer that is going through this surface and uh, marking with yellow so this is why this whole uh, problem is actually quite important because it gives us a sense of how to do a design where you have to play with the thickness parameter to see if it matches your expected heat load okay so thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one